Hello and welcome to my shop where I'm working on a Rubo style bench build using a bench crafted hardware kit. I've got the legs and the stretchers laid out here in front of me. I really lucked out. I got some beautiful spalted maple pieces for the front of each leg. And then this long stretcher has this really nice bird's eye figure in it. This is soft maple that came mostly as eight quarter stock rough sawn and laminated all the pieces together to get the thicknesses that I needed. As the project goes along, I'll fill you guys in with the details, but for now I really want to get you guys caught up to what I've been doing so far with building the legs and the stretchers. And then in a few minutes I'm going to take a trip out to the sawmill to get the rest of the materials needed for the two split top sections. So with that, let's get going. There isn't anything particularly difficult about building the base of this bench, although there is a bunch of jointing and planing to do. Key is keeping the stock square for each individual assembly. You'll be thankful to have perfectly square stock when it comes time for the mortise and tenon joinery later on. Now it's time for the final glue up of the night, and then we are done with all the stretchers. Time to run everything through the joiner and square up all the stock again. This is the second time. If you look carefully, you'll notice that the fence on the joiner moves quite a bit, no matter how much I've locked it down. I think this stock is just too big for this 6 inch joiner. All right, at this point I've got the two long stretchers squared up. They're at a rough length and I need to start laying out the tenons on them. So there's a couple things I want to look at here. The first is I want to try to avoid these 
defects in the wood. This right here looks like it got pretty close to the edge of the tree. Um, this one also looks like it has a little bit of a crack right through here. I might not be able to avoid that. So I think on this one I'm going to try to grab a section somewhat between these two guys. Make sure I make the most of this figured section right here. And then on this guy, I do sort of like this figure in here, through here, so I'll probably grab a section of, you know, somewhere between there and there. Full length of these is going to be 44 and 5 8 plus 2 inch tenons on each side. So with that, let's get going. I found the crosscut sled on the table saw left the cleanest cut for these large tenons. It also left a nice clean shoulder. Right at the end I used the chisel to undercut the shoulder just a little bit to leave a perfect fit. I made a jig out of MDF and used an upcut bit on my router to cut all of the mortises. This actually worked out really well and left a really consistent fit for all of the tenons. Finally it's time to use a larger jig to route out the tenons for the long stretchers and the base assembly of the bench is done. The base of the bench is upside down right now for assembly. I ended up building little rubber feet for the base of the legs. I'm going to leave you with my drive out to the sawmill in southern Washington to get more maple for the top. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Part 2 of this video will go through building of the top sections and the vise. Thanks for watching.